I am originally from Maywood, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago, maybe like 10 minutes from downtown Chicago. Uh, my suburb sometimes gets the reputation of being maybe a rougher suburb, but even with that, I still felt like there were a lot of good things in the community that kids could look to. What was your first job coming out of undergrad. So I went to grad school at Cornell, but while I was at Cornell, I circled back to, you know, making sure I really wanted to focus on TV. Yeah. So my first full-time job was actually working behind the scenes at ABC's Good Morning America. What? So <laughs> oh, you was big time. <laughs> okay. Growing up, you know, Al Roker was like the dude. It was like yeah. Al Roker and then no, no one else, right? Yeah, no one else. Well, yeah. There's too many of us. Who were your heroes? Like, who did you look up to? How did you fall into, like, this particular interest? Weather in the Midwest, it can be pretty brutal. You can get intense winter storm. At times, we would get 12, 15 inches of snow and be buried at home. We couldn't go to school because all the roads were covered. So I would watch the Weather Channel. And so I would watch it all day, especially when they were talking about hurricanes or tornadoes. And so that's where that interest in weather came from. So I happened to mention that to my high school principal at the time. He had a contact at one of the TV stations in Chicago. So he set up a visit for myself and a few of my classmates to check out the TV station, to speak with the meteorologists there, uh, to learn about meteorology and you know what type of work that involved. It's like, okay, this is something that I'm really interested in. What was your uh, starting salary? Right around $50,000. And that technically is really good for a first time TV job, in, and also in the Cleveland market. And now you're making some pretty good change. <laughs> I'm still working on that. We can have a computer do it automatically, but as a meteorologist, your goal is really to forecast your own weather. What's been like your biggest learning from like those early years? Uh, listen to feedback, and then don't take things as personally. Climate science and like all the debates and things going on there, like from your perspective as like, you know, a, a, a specialist and an expert, what do you see all this? First, climate change is real. We are doing things to the environment that is having an impact on our climate long term. And it mainly deals with the release of CO2, so exhaust from vehicles, factories, things like that. Uh, so we definitely have an impact and these are real things that we are living through. What do you do for fun around here? On some of my weekends, I go out and I karaoke. So I love karaoke. What? I love singing music. I'm not that you good. You want to sing a few bars right now? Do you, I mean, you got the cameras, dog. You <laughs> Think about what you're passionate in doing. It's definitely okay to change your mind in terms of what your career goals are as you move along in life, as you learn more things. And then also, don't let your surroundings dictate your future.